Hi everyone. When I print a sublimation template that's larger than possible in design space, I use pages on my Mac and I've been asked several times to explain how I do it. So I thought this video might be handy for those who need to see. If you'd like to join my sublimation and infusible ink group, you'll find a link to the group in the description right under this video. I'm going to open pages on my desktop. I'm using a Mac, so therefore I'm using pages. I'm going to select a landscape blank because my template will be wider than it is taller. It's best to work with landscape and click create. When it opens, my blank is automatically set to a 125% zoom. I'm going to reduce that to 100%. I like to see the edges on the blank so that I know exactly where I'm positioning my image to print. I'm just going to grab this image, drag and drop it over, and there it is, it's in pages. So up on the top right, okay, let's close this up and increase the screen so you can see better. Up on the top right, we have format and document. If you click on document, you can change the size of your paper to whatever you're going to be using. If I wanted to do, let's say, a fatty tumbler and I needed my width to be my circumference, my width of image to be 11.2, I would choose U.S. legal. But of course, you need to have sublimation paper that's big enough. And then I would increase the size of my image. But in this case, I'm just going to be doing a wrap for um, 20 ounce skinny. So I'm going to use US letter. In order to resize my image, I'm gonna go back to format on the top right. You can see that I have no border selected and no shadow selected. I'm going to image. If I decide I wanted to replace that, I could do it here and I'll go to arrange. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Constrain Proportions and uncheck that. We want to control the width and the height that we're using. So uncheck Constrain Proportions. For a skinny tumbler, the ones that I have from Crafty Corners Blanks, I use 9.4 for the width. And for the height, I use 8.1. And many people ask about the size that we're using, but I have noticed that depending what supplier you buy your blanks from, the size may vary a little. So I've seen people use 9.1 as the width, others use 9.3, 9.4. So you might have a general size, 9.4 by 8.1, but I've actually seen people use 8.3 for the height. So you want to double check, just run a, a soft tape ruler around your tumbler and double check the size of your tumbler so that you're not wasting a printout that turns out to be way too large or too small. You want your seams to be nice, so you want to be sure that you have a little overlap for taping. So you want to account for that when you're sizing. So the next thing we want to look at is this rotate section here on the bottom right. I can flip now so that it will be mirrored or I can leave it as is and flip in the print screen. But whatever you do, you don't want to flip twice. You don't want to mirror it here. And then in the print screen, you click mirror again because you're just reversing what you did. So choose where you prefer and make that a habit. I'm going to flip here in this screen. So all I have left to do now is go to file and print. You can see that I have my sublimation printer selected and my last used settings I've chosen. I could choose default settings, but I choose last used settings because I always use the same setup. I'll click on pages and I'll go to color matching. You want to be sure that you have Epson color controls selected, not color sync, 
Epson color controls is what you want. Go back to color matching. I'll choose print settings. I always choose presentation paper matte. And I choose that just from having tried different settings. This is my favorite. You can go to quality. Some people will select high quality. I did in the past, but I've experimented with it and found that using just quality does work really great. My colors are terrific and apparently it uses a lot less ink. So I stay on quality. I'll go back to print settings and I'll choose color options. In colored options, you want to choose advanced settings. You want to select advanced settings. You're going to change Epson Vivid to Adobe RGB and leave your gamma at 2.2. Depending on your printer, you might want to change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation. You might want to play with that a little bit. In most cases, I leave mine alone. When my um, photo or when my design is super saturated with color, I might turn down the contrast and the saturation a little bit, but that's completely up to you. And once you've done all these selections, you're all set up and ready to go. And all you're going to do from there is press print. I'm not going to print it for this video because I just wanted to do that quick show of how I set up in pages because I've been asked several times. And another reason is I'm completely out of blanks and I'm waiting for an order of blanks so I can do another video. So I hope this video is going to help you set up your larger prints in pages on Mac. And thank you for watching.